So how in the hell did this happen? I think I just saw the best movie of the year. Let's review The Rental. The Rental stars Dan Stevens, Allison Brie, Sheila Vond, Jeremy Allen White, and is directed by Dave Franco. What is up, guys? What is it with the super spoiler-sensitive movies lately? Jesus. Um, I just reviewed uh, 1BR. Uh, I just saw Palm Springs, which is another spoiler-sensitive movie. And what I mean by spoiler-sensitive is just movies that you can't really tell that much without spoiling. Um, this is another one of those movies. This is The Rental. This was on my radar. Uh, I, I heard something about it like last week. And what was, what was curious about it was that Dave Franco, James Franco's brother, directed it. And, and he actually had a hand in writing the movie too. But uh, I just saw the movie, and let me just say, wow, I did not expect to be, I was kind of blown away by this movie. So, let me just say this right now. I, I, there's things about this movie that I have to talk, spoiler stuff. I will save that for after the rating. So... Um, up until the rating, you're going to be fine. So up until the rating part, it probably won't be that long of a review because like I said, I'm, I'm being very careful. The horror fan in me definitely has to talk about some stuff in this movie that I don't want to tell you if you haven't seen it. So stick around after the rating if, you, uh, if you've already seen this movie. Also, uh, just a little bit of a different backdrop this time. It's the same backdrop, you know, it's all back there and everything, but... Uh, I figured I'd set, this is kind of my streaming setup, actually. This is the, this is what I'm looking at when I stream. You know, I got my ring lights over here. But anyway, quick plot synopsis. You have uh, these four people, uh, two of them brothers, and then th their girlfriends, I guess. And they go on this little getaway for the weekend. They go to this, uh, this house that's a rental. You know, they're just getting away, having a little bit of R&R. &R. And as soon as they get there, there's this guy that approaches them. Ray from Halloween 2018, but the actor's name is Toby Ross. He does a really good job in this movie, actually. Right away, there's a little bit of like some some racial tensions because he's an older guy, and you know how like older uh, people, especially in like backwoods areas, they can often be construed as they can come across as racist, I guess. And so that presents a little bit of uh, tension with the character Mina in this movie. Uh, right away, she's caught off guard by this guy. She doesn't like him. And so when you add that to the dynamic of these other three characters who are just, they just want to be there, have a good time. They don't want any trouble, but Mina's already offended. And so that creates this, this, like this barrier of tension between these characters, which is always good because I love when you present, um, conflict between characters outside of your regular horror movie. Now, Mina and Charlie, Charlie's played by Dan Stevens in this, they are partners, they're, they're working partners. And Charlie is dating Michelle, played by uh, Allison Brie. And so there's another element of tension because Charlie has a little bit of a past. You know, he'd get into a relationship, but he wouldn't end the other relationship before he got in the relationship. So kind of the same thing here. And his working partner, they're constantly together. And that also pre presents a little bit of a conflict, uh, maybe some jealousy on the part of his girlfriend. And then you got his brother, Josh, played by Jeremy Allen White, who is Lip in the show Shameless. But uh, he's perfectly cast too, because he's kind of this loose cannon. He's got, he's got some uh, like temper problems. So there's always that opportunity for this guy to erupt as well. And then as the movie's going along, there's a, a moment in the movie where the character, Mina, she's in the shower and she notices a camera. And so, of course, she freaks out. There was already this tension with her earlier, and now that just heightens it to the umpteenth level. So there is this presence, I'm not going to say what it is, that is uh, watching these people. You know, that's pretty much established as you're watching the movie because you'll see, like, the house framed, and you can tell that there's a point of view of somebody or something that is watching them, you know? Plus, there's cameras set up in the house without their consent, without them knowing now, uh, one thing I loved about this movie was the characters. You know, you had an isolated environment, four characters, but the writers chose to really uh, focus in on these characters and the differences between all of them and their history with each other. Uh, and it just added this other element of tension throughout the movie. And I loved these characters, actually. So you're so invested in the conflict between them that, that takes a good portion of the movie before it really ramps up. And there's also this jealousy factor, again, 
uh, between Charlie and Mina. So by the time you get to the third act of this movie, where it becomes a true, if not a horror movie, a straight up thriller movie, uh, everything just comes to a head. I was completely just gripping my seat throughout this whole movie. Could not look away whatsoever. It was just really intense. You could take the horror element out of this movie and it would still be very interesting because of these characters. But because I'm a, a huge horror fan and then the last act of this movie, I'm just going to say I got payoff. Like I got some big time payoff. I got some, some blood. I got some trauma. I got all kinds of great stuff. Okay. Being very careful, but I just cannot, cannot recommend this movie enough. Uh, went into this with the absolute lowest expectations. Looked like some production value there, but outside of that, I was just like, this This is probably going to be a good three, three and a half out of five type movie. That's just, you know, that's just what I felt going in. But uh, let me just say, guys, I, I was surprised, like so presently surprised. Cannot recommend this movie enough. That's all I'm going to tell you. You have to go see this movie, okay? You have to rent this right now. I'll put an Amazon affiliate link in the uh, info box. Uh, right now, guys, I'm giving this a trap on an island. I, I'm just shocked by that. I, I watched it with my wife, and she was just like, this is amazing. Like, she looked at me three quarters of the way into the movie, and she's just like, this is really amazing. And I was like, is it so amazing that it's like the best movie of the year, like better than The Lodge? And she was like, I think so. And I think I agree with her. So, that's my non-spoiler review. If you haven't Seen this movie? Get the hell out of here. Go rent it. Go watch it. Come back for the spoiler portion, okay? And real quick, I just want to talk about spoilers now. First thing, Mina and Charlie were having a, an affair during this this movie. Uh, you know, they there was always this like sexual tension between them because they worked together for so long in their past. And so there's a section of the movie where Michelle she doesn't feel like taking drugs, so she steps out, and then Josh he falls asleep. And so you have these two characters that have this history together and they end up in the hot tub and then they sleep together. And I was like, where are they going with this, this plot? Because this is a horror movie and why is this happening? But then it made me think of like The Descent because that was a big aspect of The Descent was that tension between Juno and Sarah throughout the movie. And so I, I kind of dug that. You know, it was just a, a different way of playing around with a, 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 a horror story. So anyway, the big reveal is there is a killer. And he's got this mask that kind of reminded me of, like, from the movie Body Double, uh, the Brian De Palma movie. If you haven't seen Body Double, I highly, highly recommend it. But, uh, yeah, there was an actual killer in this movie. And he was killing these, these uh, characters off one by one. These characters that we have spent the last you know hour and a half with who we are really really invested in and then they all just get killed with a hammer one by one and i was just like wow this is insane and, and they did not hold back whatsoever in terms of the violence with the hammer and the killer to me was just so interesting because they don't show him at all they never show his face you see that mask but uh pretty much in the end of the movie he gets away with it he kills all four of them and then in the credits, it just shows all these other houses that he preys upon. So this is a very smart killer. They left it wide open for a sequel. And this is a slasher. This is actually a slasher film. Um, so, wow. I, just, I was just completely impressed by this movie, guys. I can't recommend it enough. Uh, if you stayed past because you don't mind spoilers, make sure you check this movie out. It was, it was amazing. And also, I have all this Michael Myers stuff behind me. Dave Vanderhoff, thank you so much for this Halloween floor mask. This is beautiful. Ashley Morrow, thank you for this Halloween shirt. The, uh, the unbox is coming soon, and you will see both these in the unbox. So I just gave you guys a sneak peek. So anyway, guys, that is my review for the rental. Let me know what you guys thought of the rental in the comments section. Also, be sure to come over to Killer Flicks, where we talk horror all day and every day and on Fridays. We do free for all Fridays. Follow me at Drum Dums on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and Drum Dumb out.